People ask us frequently, how is positive Christianity doing? Well, financially, with the economy, we've been hit. But in every other way, we're up and we're able to serve more. We go to uh, 828,000 people every day in every country around the globe uh, with our positive daily inspiration that's free of charge. We offer clergy help free of charge, and we're in 1,628 different places, uh, hospitals, uh, chaplaincy programs, churches of every denomination. Our television broadcast, of course, our viewership is number one in the United States, number two in Canada, no surprise there. Here was a surprise to me, our number three place around the world is France. And I can remember uh, being in France and even commenting that we don't have very many subscribers there. Well, that's changing. Number four is the United Kingdom, England. Number five, the Dominican Republic. Number six, the Philippines. Number seven, the Bahamas. Number eight, Australia, and I've appeared there. Number nine is Singapore, and number 10, India. Here's another surprising fact, at least to me. Most of the time when we speak, and I believe our positive written sermons most of the time, go to women. But our viewership of our television broadcast is 65% male and 35% female. We're also embedded on 300 different sites around the world because you know our copyright policy, you have a right to copy. Our main work is prayer. And the power of prayer is something not to be taken lightly. This whole ministry is a result of the power of prayer. Often those words are so familiar to us that we forget about the real meaning behind it, that prayer is the most powerful thing you can do as a human being. Abraham Lincoln, the great president in America, said, I have been driven many times to my knees by an overwhelming conviction that I had nowhere else to go. My own wisdom and that of all about me seemed insufficient for the day. Well, in Matthew 21, verse 22, it says, If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Prayer is a powerful tool to communicate with your Creator. And it is an opportunity to interact with the giver of all life. Prayer improves your life. And it helps you to find strength in the day and hope for the future. Prayer is not a thing to be taken lightly or used infrequently. Many people, they do not make prayer an integral part of their life. It is more a hit or miss proposition. Uh, they don't do, like it says in the Bible, to pray without ceasing. They only pray when they have tried everything else. Sort of an afterthought prayer. But prayer changes things. Now, at any time, you can go to God directly and pray. Also, at any time, if you would like us to pray with you, we will. Just go to our website and click on the prayer link and send in your prayer request. Often, if we do not do something, we do the other thing that we're so good at, we worry about it. And we worry about uh, the day, we worry about our next decision, we worry about tomorrow. Instead of allowing God to lead the way. So, my friend, I invite you to pray constantly about the things in your life, great and also small. God is listening, God wants to hear from you, and 
As it says in our Bible, God promises to answer. 